Namaste. My name is Nisha Govindarajan and I'm here to talk about what Swami Vivekananda meant to me. You know, for a long period of time, our nation has witnessed the strength of its spirituality ebb and fade. And hence, we saw the rise of many Mahatmas who struggled and still are struggling to make our country understand the strength of its spirituality. Swami Vivekananda was one of them. But he took it one step ahead. He didn't just stop with the enlightenment of our country, but he made the entire world be enlightened regarding the magnificence of India's spirituality. And the one who set him on this path was his guru, Sri Ramakrishna. You know, um, a simple phrase used by Swami Vivekananda as the opening line in his address in the world's parliament of religions. He said, sisters and brothers of America. This was enough. This was enough for the world to comprehend the level of enlightenment it takes to consider the entire world as one family, to view all of us as the children of Mother Earth. His approach to spirituality was revolutionary. You know, he was often found to favor a game of football over, say, holding one's breath in meditation. And his reason was simple. He says, only in a healthy body can a healthy mind reside. And only in a healthy mind can healthy thoughts arise. And only healthy thoughts will pursue the raw truth. This is the true guide to real enlightenment that is unmasked by distractions. This is the path that he guided us towards. Something so simple and straightforward, yet many of us could not see this due to the cumbersome load we bear. Something which is called a conditioned mind. As explained by um, Sri Jiddu Krishnamurti, a conditioned mind cannot see what is in front of it, but you know, it will constantly hide behind a defined world. It will always be scared to explore and venture into the unknown and face change boldly. This is what hampers us. Swami Vivekananda told us, give me hundred selfless youths and I will give you a changed India. It was after this that Western civilizations began to see us as beings of enlightenment and spirituality that was beyond their comprehension. He gave us the seed that has grown into the tree of life and this is literally the, the spiritual nourishment, the food for the youth of today. Another one of his quotes that has always stayed with me is that he said, whatever you think, that you will be. If you think you're strong, you're strong. If you think you're weak, you're weak. If you think you're impure, you're impure. And if you think you're pure, you're surely pure. This is how he taught me how to be intrinsically motivated and believe in what I am. You know, but our job, our job does not end with simply reading Swamiji's teachings or, or being astounded by his wisdom and his strength and the changes he brought about. But it continues in to inculcate his teachings into every aspect of our lives. Only then can we expect to obtain wholesome growth in such a manner that not only our country, but the entire world can grow and rise to new levels of peace, love and harmony. This is what Swamiji taught me and this is what he means to me. Thank you.